welcome to Marita's History Corner's first special video. Today we will talk about the Viking time in Vestfold. So stay tuned and enjoy. Bodø Mound Cemetery is a part of Bodø National Park, which is at Horten in Vestfold and Telemark in Norway. It is the largest burial mound site in Northern Europe. Bodø National Park is the home of the most extensive collection of King's Grave in all of Scandinavia. It is the home to seven large and 21 smaller burial mounds. Excavations in the 1980s revealed that the oldest mounds dates as far back as 600 after Christ, which means it was even before the Viking time. All that can be seen today is seven big mounds and a cairn, which is a big pile of stones. The first investigations that took place here took place between 1851 and 1852. Local road builders used one of the mounds as a gravel pit and in the process destroyed a richly equipped grave in a Viking ship. The excavation uncovered an unusually good selection of craft works, much of which is on display at the Viking Museum in Oslo. The artistic craft works that was found has become known as the Buddhist style and is today known for its beautiful animals and not ornaments and was often used to decorate harnesses. Some of the cairns, the big mounds of stones, were, were investigated in 1925 and turned out to only be cremation graves. Midgard Historical Center at Bode was opened in 2000 and is a part of the Vestfold Museums. And here you see some of the mounds that are still up. Well, that was all for the Bode Mound Cemeteries. We'll be back from more places in the Viking time. And who knows what I have in store. See you. Stay and watch for enemies coming. And here you see again the artisticness that they showed throughout that time.
this cup was over a hundred years old when it was buried which is about 1100 years old now or 1200 years old now Archaeological excavations in 1904 uncovered history's largest and richest example of craftsmanship from the Viking Ages. The beautiful 21 meter long Usabar ship, Usabar carriage, five beautifully carved bedposts shaped like animal heads, four sledges, beds, chests, weaving frames, household utensils, and much more. It was for long thought that this was the grave of Queen Asa, grandmother of King Harald Hairfair. Scientific examinations in 1992 now date the burial to 834 after Christ and indicate that it is Queen Alvhild, the first wife of King Gudrod, who lies buried or was laying buried here. The barrel, 40 meters in diameter, was restored in 1947. A path along the Valley Creek has posts along the path that talks about the excavation. And here you can see the stone that says that you're on the path to the Usabar Mound and it says that it was made in 834 after Christ and dug out in 1904. And here you can also see some artistry that is 
found in the Viking time but made later to see how they did it at that time. And here it says how the excavation was done. And here you see a part of the excavation while it was being done. And here it talks about how and what they found when they opened up the Viking ship that was in Oseberg Mound and this is what they found. Sleighs, carriages, oxes, horses, beds and a lot of other tools and stuff like that and here it talks about the ship and the specifics of the ship and here you see some of the history And where in Westfall you found places that are very important in the Viking period. Well, that was all from Oseberg Mount and I will be back from more Viking places. See you! Here it says that a queen from Westfold, the county, is buried in the ship and the mound around year 850. The dugout was in 1904 and the mound was rebuilt kinda in 1947. This stone monument was put up in 1961 and here you can see the mound and it's of course smaller now than when the ship was actually buried here but it's still kind of big and here you can see the view from the mound And in this little hole right here, they had the last dig out. And this is the Oseberg ship. It was found in a grave in Westfold in 1903. And here you can see the amazing structures that the Vikings made. And here in the front, you can see the amazing carvings. The ship was broken when it was found and about 90% of the pieces have been put together. And here you can see some of the uneven seats. Here you can see where they sat and rode. And you can see the amazing engineering that these Vikings actually was able to do by hand.
And here you see some kind of animal. I can't really tell you what kind. All this is also from those black sheep.
in here, you can see the kind of shoes they used. And here are some more shoes. And here you see the old spare ship when it was found and dug up. So they had quite a job restoring that ship. And here you see some of the things that was found in the ship. Here are the explanations. Look at these amazing carvings that they did by hand, everything. They were quite the engineers and artists.
Way was made as a grave gift, one out of three, from a powerful woman that was buried in the Usba ship. Because after the Usba ship had been used for a few years, it was used as a grave ship. And look at this amazing architecture, this amazing artistry with all these carvings that they always did by hand with the nails they used it's just incredible to see like every single small part of this structure this is the carriage that was found in the Usba ship and it's the only one of its kind that we know, that we know of from Viking time in Norway which is super amazing because this was found about 10 to 15 minutes away from my house, which is where the Usba ship was found.
Som sildleder brygge og planter af vin, så falder, falder den rig. Hun byder sin broder hjem til sig, og det bringer alle. Og de skængte mjød, og de skængte vin, så falder, falder den rig. Well, that was all for part one. Stay tuned, part two will be out in not too long. And this time I also want to give out two very big thank yous. The first one is to the Viking Ship Museum who allowed me to film inside. So 
thank you very much to you. And the other thank you is to the world's most popular and most handsome band, none other than Folke Borta for Noravin. So thank you so much guys. I really appreciate it. So see you next time.